Okay, we're going to discuss uh, machine group properties. Uh, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and select a machine type. I'm going to get mill, and I'm just going to grab the default. Okay, now we are under the operations manager folder. If I click the little plus sign next to properties, I have various options now. The first one I come to is file. Okay, file, I can do several things on the file. I can change my machine uh, type that I want. Right now, remember I picked the generic mill. Let's say if I, I accidentally picked that or I want to change that. I can go to replace, which is right here. Click replace and pick the machine that I want to change my mind to. Uh, let's just say that I wanted that IntelliTech mill. If I click that, and click the green check right here and hit this check now notice we're showing the properties under IntelliTech another good feature uh, or good reason why you'd want to do that let's say if I um, generated code for the IntelliTech well I go out on the floor and something's wrong with the machine or uh, somebody else is using it for example well, I can always go back and I can change that to a Haas or Analam or whatever other type of machine that I might have. Let's go back to tool settings. Um, also, let's see, under files is where I was at. We want to make sure that we are in inches or millimeters, whichever the case may be. Uh, I happen to be using inches most of the time. Um, we can change that. The next thing was my tool settings. I can give it a program number right here. Right now it's showing program uh, zero. If I want to give that a, a certain program number, I can. Um, another thing right here is showing that whenever it generates code, it's going to start off on line 100, and it's going to go increments of 10. Well, if I want to change that, let's say I want to start off on line 1. If I highlight it and type in 1, and I say increments of 1, then um, my my CNC code, whenever it generates code, it's going to start on line 1. If I have 50 lines of code, the 50th line is going to show line 50. However, it's probably a good idea for the increments to leave them at 10. That way, if I do any editing, I have 9 lines in between each one where I can uh, add more lines. Um, your stock setup is your third category. Here's where you have to tell it what size your material is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to change that, showing starting off in my Y axis. I'm going to put in 5 inches, 5.0. And if you hit the tab button on your keyboard, it goes to your next axis, which happens to be the X. And I type in 5.0 there as well. And here, Z is my thickness of material. Say I'm using something um, 1 inch thick. 1.0 and hit the tab button again that kind of it's like hitting the enter button now we're measuring off the center of this block so I want to measure off the bottom left corner so if I click here watch this arrow it automatically goes to that also we want to click display without hitting display you won't see it on your screen so if we hit display next thing I would do is hit my OK button but I'm not quite through yet last category is my safety zone safety zone what that does is it will tell you like if I'm using a rectangular pattern it tells me where my um, my tool if it's going to crash into a vice or, or whatever uh, and after I it will it will not show me that until after I um, write a program um, here's um, something spherical spherical and cylindrical. Most of my work that I do is rectangular. So anyway, that's pretty much it for that. So if I hit the green OK button, now with my roller on my mouse, if I roll it back toward me and then take the arrows on the keyboard, I can position it in the center of my screen. Okay, that's pretty much it for that, and we'll have another video on another subject later.